Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 21 Bolo items coming your way. A Bolo is an item to be on the lookout for, an item you can hopefully buy low and sell for a decent profit. Um, I pick these items up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook marketplace, and I flip them on different platforms. I my main platform is eBay, but I also sell on Poshmark and Mercari. This video is about Poshmark. These are items that I sold on Poshmark. Um, I'm going to tell you where I got it. Did I already say this? What I paid for it and what it sold for. I may have already said that. Um, I've done a couple videos tonight. So I'm forgetting what I've said and what I haven't said. But anyway, Poshmark is a great platform. I do sell clothing and hard goods on Poshmark, but this video is only going to be the hard goods. I have a tendency to leave the clothing off because most of the people that watch me enjoy seeing hard goods. So if you like clothing, let me know. Um, maybe I can do a clothing video, but anyway, let's get started here. And the first item and I will tell you guys that I do cross post my items. I start on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. Um, again, eBay is my number one. So if you want to try um, to get your items cross posted quicker, I cross post in bulk with an extension called List Perfectly. There's a demo video of how I do it down in the comments um, or the description of this video. And I show you exactly how I do it. I start on eBay and I usually do 20 or 30 items at a time. And I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark at the same time. And it loads everything up. And then I just have to kind of add a few things and finalize each listing. It is so much quicker than manually doing it. If you watch that video and you decide you want to try it, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. So definitely check that out down below. So this first item is a vintage die cast ERTL -E Ertl tractor trailer, and it does have a defect, you guys. And I sold this for $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this American Girl doll, Have a Birthday Bash Blast. And this sat on eBay a long time. It didn't sell super quick on Poshmark either but it did sell on Poshmark. So I'm happy about that. Happy to see this go. This was a garage sale pickup. It was a bulk buy of American Girl stuff. So I probably have like a buck or two in this. The next item I sold are these dress up shoes. Now this item I only put on Poshmark and the reason why, and one thing that I love about Poshmark is their shipping. Um, if it's five pounds or less, it ships for one flat price. This was kind of bulky and probably, uh, you know, two, three pounds. And I just felt like the price of shipping on eBay or Mercari was not going to be justifiable. And this was probably going to be really long tail on eBay also. I could be totally wrong, but um, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this on Poshmark only. And it sold pretty quickly, you guys. I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Now, is $10 a ton of money? No, but it was super easy to list. I just threw it in a box and packaged it up. And these items came out of a thrift store mystery box. So my cost of goods was not very much. So I was just trying to get some money back on that mystery box. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a clue game. And I believe I got this at a thrift store. And I think this isn't, no, I, I did have this cross posted. But this item is another one that's great. Board games are great for Poshmark because they're typically heavy and expensive to ship. So you get that flat rate of $7.67 shipping if it's five pounds or less. So um, a lot of times I will pass on board games because I know they're going to cost me like 10 to $12 to ship to some places through eBay. So Poshmark's a great place for these. This was from 2008. It was factory sealed. And it was a clue, discover the secrets. And I sold this for $30, the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage clip-on earrings. You guys, these took forever to sell. I think it's because my pictures are horrible. Um, I've had this listed a long time and um, I have changed a lot of things to include, I, I do use photo room now, or I use the eBay filter. But um, if you want to try Photo Room Pro, you can get your first month free with coupon code. Um, it's a referral code BOLO, just BOLO. 
and that'll get you your first month free of photo room pro and i do have a video um, on this channel that shows you guys how to use that if you guys are looking to get a white background it is fantastic and also like on poshmark i know some people like to use colors you can get different colored backgrounds also the next item is this mini mouse snap and style boutique doll clothing this also came out of a thrift store mystery box. I sold this for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. Actually, I think this came from um, a thrift store, like a baggy bundle that I got. Sorry. This Halloween mask, pa Paper Magic Group. Um, it's a vintage Halloween mask. It's really, really cool. Um, actually, it's from, it says 1998 on the actual mask and 2003 on the tag. So... I don't know, maybe uh, that's like the patent date and the other is the date that it was, I don't know, produced for that year. Anyway, I sold this for $55 plus shipping. The next item, I love this. It is a vintage 1979 Eden Frog uh, Toad Plush. And this thing is so old and I just thought it was so cute. He's got some condition issues, but he sold for $30 plus shipping. The next item, and I don't remember where I got it. I've had it a while. The next item are these vintage Gruen ladies watch repart, uh, replacement parts. And my husband, um, he dabbles in men's watches. Um, that's kind of his thing. He collects and um, he gave me a bunch of ladies stuff. He's like, I don't want to mess with it. And I'm like, okay, I'll mess with it. And I have sold, I think this was my last lot to sell. And I did really, really good with this stuff. Um, a lot of people will use these for crafts, um, like making jewelry and stuff like that. But this sold for $45 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Halloween pin back pins. I believe I only had these listed on Poshmark and I sold these for $6 plus shipping. So a major bread and butter, but um, I got them in a bulk lot of just stuff. The next item is this vintage brooch pin. And what's funny about this is you guys know when Poshmark took the, um, they changed the algorithm and it wasn't by just shared and they were pushing, everybody was saying they were pushing listings with bad titles up to the top. Well, this one definitely has a bad title because I didn't know how to describe it. I didn't know what it was made of. I, It's awful. Vintage brooch pen, you guys. And it sold for $27 and the buyer paid shipping. So I was really happy that this sold really shocked that it sold with that title. But that's one thing nice about Poshmark when you share your closet, it gets your items in front of people's eyes. And I I do share my closet. So I don't know if that was really, everybody was kind of speculating about what was going on. But anyway, vintage brooch pin, how's that for a title? The next item is this vintage Bucilla needle craft screen kit. And it, um, Sold for $30, and I believe I got this at a thrift store for a couple bucks. And I pick these up whenever I can for, I usually try to pay a buck or two for them. If it's a certain one um, and I search it, I will pay up for them a little bit because they usually have a pretty good sell-through rate for the ones like the gold collection dimensions. Those like I will pay up a little for, um, but Definitely do your research because they do vary from bread and butter, 10 bucks to big money, a hundred bucks. Okay. The next item are these ombre green earrings. These came from a garage sale. I bought a bunch of jewelry. I sold these for $16. They are super long and super cool. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this bare mineral minerals, lasting line, nonstop Navy eyeliner. Um, I believe this came from a thrift store. It was new old stock. I bought a bunch of makeup. Um, and yeah, $13 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this question mark pin. So I kind of had this idea. It wasn't really my idea. I was doing a live working hangout and Susie Q's, uh, I think it's jewelry. Ah, I can never remember her never ending jewelry party is her channel. And she sells on Poshmark and she was telling me what she does is she will list her costume jewelry and she'll do a thing where I'm not really sure how she does it, but she'll bundle if people can get like five items for 25 or whatever her deal is. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do something like that. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to do it eventually. 
So I decided I would list some things with this little um, green check mark box. And what I'm going to do is say, eventually, I haven't started this yet, guys. I need to get more listed to do it. Anything that has the green check mark, you can bundle for this price or something like that. But again, I haven't figured it out yet. Here is what I use to show the size. It's a it's called a caliper. I bought this on eBay. It was like 10 to 12 bucks. They're super cheap. And that was, I think, with free shipping. But this is a great tool if you list jewelry. And it's inexpensive and easy to use. So yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this question mark thing. But that's why it's there because I'm going to do something eventually, I think. <laughs> but that sold before I could implement that. The next item are these Star Wars a Tactics Battle Figures, a lot of 15. Um, I sold these for $60 and the buyer paid shipping. This Franklin Mint Easter Egg, I've had this listed for a very, very long time on all three platforms. I'm not sure why it was taking so long to sell. It's a really cool piece. Maybe I just had it priced too high. I just noticed right there, it's got 1978. I just saw that. Wow. So I could add vintage in the title. Wow, that's much older than I even knew. Um, I sold this for $40 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't even remember where I got it. I've had it listed that long. These Block Girls Leather Jazz Booties, I believe I picked these up at a garage sale. I sold these for $23 plus shipping. Uh, they're size one and a half. That is a kid's size. The next item is this Disney Store Giraffe Doc McStuffins Gabby Plush. And I sold her for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. And I don't remember where I got her, so I apologize for that. But usually my plush I pay a dollar or less for. The next item, I can't believe this sold. It's a silly necklace fishbone. I probably should have put silly fishbone necklace. But um, I don't know. Just I, I got it at a garage sale a long, long time ago. Just threw it up on Mercari. This is probably one that I would have put a check mark beside. But um, it sold. So super excited about that. Super happy to have that out of my store. $8 plus shipping. And the last item is this Duke Cannon Soap Lot of Three. These are silly soaps. They've got like silly little sayings on them. Um, I got them at a garage sale and I want to say I paid like two or three bucks for them and I sold them for $23 plus shipping. All right, you guys, that was 21 Bolo items. Let me know what you think about um, these items in the comments. Do you sell hard goods on Poshmark? Do you sell on Poshmark? What is your favorite thing about Poshmark? What is your least favorite thing about Poshmark? Um, have you considered selling on other platforms if you're only on Poshmark? I will tell you guys that hands down, like I sell way, way, way more on eBay than I sell on Poshmark and Mercari. But I also, I think I work my eBay business harder. So, you know, I, I know a lot of people that sell on Poshmark as their main platform and they do really amazing. So let me know in the comments, what platforms do you sell on and which is your favorite platform? Where do you sell the most? All right, you guys, check out the comments, check out the description of the video for links of different places where I sell uh, my Facebook group, Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff is down there. Um, if you're not selling on Poshmark and you would like to, I do have a link down below where you can sign up and we will both get a coupon if you use my link. And if you want to try Mercari, there's also a link down there for that. But check out my other videos, my eBay Bolo videos and my Mercari Bolo videos if you're thinking about branching out to those platforms. Thank you guys so much for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and another uh, video down below. If you guys um, want to check out another video, that would be great. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, still hit the thumbs up. No, I'm kidding. Um, and subscribe if you're new here. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll see you at the next one.